my painting of the Madison County Fair, and I did the sunset over there. I did the one with the hay bales in the farm, and I also did the one with the butterflies over, over there. Okay, if you want to describe your technique on the butterflies? The butterflies are from a, a butterfly bush that's in my yard, and I took various pictures of the various butterflies that came to it over time, and then I made a collage of all of them together. And then, of course, I paint oil, so it's a, a number of layers, and you have to let it dry a few days before you put the other layer on, so it's time consuming. Okay, I'd like to see it closer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and then, um, Pam, who went to uh, school this summer and learned some jewelry, if you want to talk about that. Yeah, well, I'm a middle school, high school art teacher at Brick Community School, and um, I applied to the Aramont School of Arts and Crafts for Appalachian Arts for Appalachian Teachers program, and I was accepted. So I chose medals because that's my favorite thing. I do that. That's jewelry making. So while I was down there, I was able to work in their beautiful studio with all of the tools and just everything right at my fingertips. I met teachers and other folks from all along the Appalachian region, Rhode Island, Pennsylvania, Tennessee. And so that's just a small sampling of some of the jewelry that I made while I was down at the Aramont School of Arts and Crafts. That's my summer memory. It was wonderful and just something, a great experience. So, yeah. And then we have Derek Downey who does the baskets. I'm Derek. This is my piece. Um, I was inspired by the sunset. It's like a, a hot, hot summer day at sunset. You see it where the sky's almost on fire, mm -hmm. and you see the multiple colors of the um, the warm tones. So I've got pinks and oranges in here to represent that. So that's that's how this relates to the summer heat. But the actual construction of the basket, um, it's based on an egg basket shape. It's definitely my version of it, though. Uh, the handle is made out of grape buns. I, I leave a lot of the tendrils attached on there. And then all of the reed, it's natural colored when I get it, so it's all completely hand dyed. And this has about six or seven different colors in it. Very nice. Thank you. And then we have Alan. Uh, okay. All right. Well, so I'm Renee Gray, and I'm a photographer. And this is my piece. And it is White Fire. It's part of a series of four. And um, I, it's shot handheld um, and on May 13th of 2014. And I was basically just going for the cloud cover because I would have had the ISO at a different setting if I was actually going for definition on the moon. But I had a backlight, and so honestly, I was probably at 6,400. And But the clouds and the shapes were just so interesting, and it seemed like a creature that was moving or like something that was happening. And um, I, it was my first show that I ever showed with this series, and it was my first sale that I ever sold with this series. And um, so it has, that was in um, Oldham County at the Oldham's Arts Association. We had, there was a show at the YMCA, but um, that was years ago, but it's important to me and it's definitely a summer memory. So that's my piece. And then we have Pat Williams. Hi. Pat Williams, I'm a watercolor artist, and um, this is uh, this is my piece. It's called Siesta Key. That's the name of a beach near Sarasota, Florida. And I painted that this summer, but it's actually more of a, a late winter, uh, early spring memory for me. Uh, my in-laws own a condo in Sarasota, and uh, when we were raising our boys, we would take them down for their winter break to visit them and. That is my favorite beach in the world, uh, and it brings back so many memories of watching my boys play and grow up, uh, not that grow up, but, uh, but the older that they got, uh, the, the, the more fun they were, and it was, it's just really warm family memories for me. So. Thank you. Then we have Alan Long, who does wearables. Hold on a second. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ellen, and this is a memory of this summer, which is my family. Uh, my family lives in all different places, and there was one section of the summer where the whole family was together in a swimming pool, my daughter's pool, and so I was trying, I'm a fiber artist and a clothing designer, so what I tried to do is use pieces 
to look like water and make my family the flowers. <laughs> because they were, and the, the, it was so fascinating. I looked at the pictures from the summer and it was like a poem. Like the whole, like it had just stood still, but it was a video we took. But that was the summer memory. This is a shibori technique of indigo, natural indigo batik that I did on silk, a crepe silk and a um, abatai silk. And this is a muslin. And um, that's it. Nice. Very nice. And then we have Teresa Webb, and this is the first time she's shown, and we're so glad. Oh. It's only our second show. <laughs> well, I'm a, I'm a newbie for sure. Um, I work with um, fabric, and I normally make stuffed animals, dolls, um, using an embroidery machine and a sewing machine and combining those techniques, but um, I use this opportunity to teach myself something new, which is armatures, and what better way to learn armatures than to work with an octopus. <laughs> so um, I, I made two octopus, I, that's really hard, octopi, octopuses, however you want to say it. Um, this one, I know, this one is uh, named Shelly because she represents the fun time at the beach, the octopus's garden, collecting seashells, and of course she bends and um, underneath you will see her star. So she's just a fun um, animal to play with. And then I have Sizzle, and Sizzle is more of a teaching animal. Um, he has uh, goggles and um, he has a snorkel because he is sizzling because 90% of our global warming is in the ocean. And we wanted to remember that um, they're not happy about that. All the creatures in the oceans or the coral reefs are dying out. Things are just not very good right now. So he has a fan made out of a seashell. Um, we're pretending, of course, uh, that he is um, fanning with and patches to represent the sun that is very hot on the water and the earth that is melting. So he also has the star underneath, which is a, a quilting technique, and all of his armatures are very bendable <laughs> and poseable and they're just a lot of fun. Excellent. Fantastic. And then we have a couple artists that weren't here tonight, but Bob Barker has a beautiful painting right there. And um, I think you're saying her name Bridget Trucks, I guess. And she has a painting here too. Um, so they um, didn't make it to the show, but they're also showing tonight. So I think Bridget is from, I think, Somerset, or she might have a show going in Somerset right now. I think she does. And um, and then Bob is, of course, on our board. So but he couldn't be here this evening. But thank you guys so much. For Give everybody a hand clap. Yeah. Yeah.